It looks like Google just decided to take design more seriously after the Pixel 3 XL design flopped. Someone at Best Buy forgot that the Pixel 3a isn't out yet and put some boxes on the shelves. And we have new leaks of the color variants of the OnePlus 7 Pro and it looks really interesting. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, I was complaining yesterday about the weather in New York because it was great. It's been raining all day. This is Pagan Out Daily. <laughs> The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for the iPad Pro and you really don't care about getting the latest generation, currently last generation's iPad Pros are, uh, I would say up to $380 off at B&H. It depends on the variant you pick, whether it's a cellular or Wi-Fi variant. Regardless, these are really good tablets. You can learn more about it in the description. Now let's talk about Apple Watch as something very interesting in the quarter results call was the market share being revealed. 35.8 of the market percent of the market actually currently owns an Apple Watch, meaning one in every three smartwatches out there is an Apple Watch. And that is a huge deal, considering the fact that there are so many competitors with better designs, but sadly not a better operating system. And I didn't think this way before Series 4, now I kind of do. Now let's talk about the OnePlus 7 Pro as uh, we are getting closer to the event and we get more and more leaks. This time we get color variants, one of them being blue and the other one being silver, which uh, I don't remember of a OnePlus device being blue in the past and neither do I remember silver. They always go for either black or like purple colors or, you know, at some point we had different variations for the McLaren edition. So uh, yeah, we'll see what colors we get. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the blue, but obviously we never know what review units we're gonna get. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google with their Pixel 3a, Pixel 3a XL as a, well, we still don't have a date for when we're getting the product. I have no clue if we're actually gonna see it at Google I.O. or not next week. What I do know is that at Best Buy recently, it was put on store shelves. And I don't know if people actually were able to buy it or if there's a price tag, but it showed up in the leaks. So this pretty much confirms the packaging and apparently the color options. I'm not excited for the phone, but then again, I could be wrong. And finally, the hottest news today have to do actually with Google and the future of the design of the Pixels. Definitely one of my biggest criticisms with the Pixel 3 XL was that it was beautiful from the back, not at all from the front. Like from the front, it's probably the ugliest phone out there. And it seems that Google pretty much noticed because their sales have flopped up to the point that there are three design departments out there that are working on the future design of the Pixel, which for me is great. But in today's comments, let us know, what do you think? What would you change about the design of the Pixel 4 for you to pick one? Because three design firms and Google's gonna pick one. In my case, just give me a screen without, I don't care if it's not without bezels, but no notches, no chins, man, come on. That and give me the stereo speakers or whatever. And uh, second, keep the back, just give me more cameras. Cameras. That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.